What's up, people? This is your boy Lee Black with another TFG Ratchet Moment. Beyonce, the Queen Bee, has stung again. Whether you like her or not, she continues to set the stage, pioneer, and break new ground. She is now the first black woman to have a number one country album. Now, whether you consider the album Country Carter a true definition of the genre or not, doesn't matter. She's rewriting history, whether you like it or not. Not only did the album debut number one on the Billboard charts, it is now number one on all country charts. Folks, this is the first time this has been done in the country music history, 60 year history. In fact, Beyonce has sold more units than any other album. Not since Taylor Swift's album last July has more units been sold. You can like it, dislike it, hate it, call it true country, whatever you want to call it. The lady is breaking records. Her and Jay-Z are marketing geniuses and she's beating these motherfuckers at their own game. And I, for one, am very impressed. For the record, I am not a Queen B fan, so to speak. I love Beyonce as an artist. I think the mark she's left on music can't be denied, but I don't consider her in my personal opinion, a generational artist in the sense that she can sing. Now, as a performer, there's not too many out there like her. I think she's one of the hardest in the game. I think she is deserves to be on that mantle as some of the greatest to ever do it, but she just doesn't make music for me. I'm old school R&B. Having said that, I am not gonna take away from this woman's accolades. If we can sit here and hail Caitlin Clark as the GOAT to ever play women's basketball, then damn it, we can tell you that Beyonce is one bad bitch and there ain't too many of them out there like her. She is setting the pace and opening the doors and kicking them bitches down like nobody's business. Whether you like it or not, she is creating her own lane and opening that bitch up so wide that if any other artist, black, white, or otherwise, have thought about crossing over into country, she is single-handedly redefining the genre, whether we like it or not. Once again, her and Jay-Z are marketing geniuses. They are on a mission to change history. She's on a mission to hit that billionaire status. And I'll be damned if by the end of this year, not only will she hit it, she is going to supersede all female artists when it comes to net worth by the time this year is over. Yes, I said it. And for that, I give her an applause. Bravo, young lady. Bravo, bravo. So again, at the heart of many things, I call it as I see it, there is always going to be a racial component. I personally don't like the album. I personally don't like the music, but... She being who she is, she has created a fan base that comes out strong, supports what she does, and in the meantime, she's racking up awards, racking up achievements that you simply cannot deny. With that said, Queen Bee keeps singing them hoes. I'm your boy Lee Black. Keep checking in.